Okay, these things called critical points. So there's some key points that we're interested in. Critical points are simply when the derivative equals zero, which is what we just talked about, stationary points, or if they're undefined. Now, if the derivative is undefined, we're going to get a vertical tangent because the slope would be like infinite, if you like. So basically, we're talking horizontal tangents or vertical tangents. So let's look at some examples. There's a standard polynomial, cubic. So we could have a maximum turning point. That's a critical point because we have a horizontal tangent. It's a stationary point. Uh, the minimum turning point, yes, that's a critical point. Horizontal tangent, stationary point. We could have a cubic. Well, it's shifted a bit, but we have what we call that horizontal point of inflection. So we have a horizontal tangent. That would be a critical point. A parabola on its side. So that's where we would get a vertical tangent. So that the derivative would be undefined at that point, but that would be a critical point. We get some interesting looking curves sometimes. This is what's called a cusp. But the actual tangent at this minimum point, I mean, it is still a minimum point, but the tangent of that one would be undefined. And if we would draw it in, it would be vertical. And so that's a, a critical point. Um, actually, I made a mistake there. I said it's not continuous. It is continuous. It's not, you know another word I should have written there? It's not differentiable, because it's come to a sharp point. All right, so what you'll find, though, is when people talk about critical points, they're usually talking about the vertical tangents, because the horizontal ones we call stationary points. So watch out for that. Um, hopefully it's clear in the question what they look, want, but technically stationary points are critical points. Okay. All right.